and welcome back to the 20 Years of Anime Project, in which we count down to the year 2020 using costumes. Today we're going to be going back to 2012 and making the dress for Rhea from the zombie series Sanka Rhea. To make Rhea's dress, we're going to be using New Look 6096, and we're going to be using View A. Now the fabric I'm using for it has a bit of a stretch to it. It's a kind of a knit crepe material. This is not the ideal fabric to use on this pattern. The pattern itself is recommended for something without stretch, but this is the closest material I could find to something that had the color that I needed. Putting right sides together, so the front and back of the dress bodice pieces, together along the side seams. Then we're going to take the sleeve pieces and hem them using a rolled hem. Then sew the sleeves onto the bodice. To add the detail to her dress, we're going to sew some black lace, or you could use some black ribbon, about 5 eighths inch away from the edge of the collar, and we're going to gather it a little bit just so that it goes around the curve smoothly. Next we're going to fold the edge of the fabric over so that the lace is now at the top. And you could fold it multiple times to have the raw edge inward if you're using a more delicate fabric that's prone to fraying. This is a bit thicker and doesn't fray, so I'm not as worried about it. And we're going to do that all around the neckline, leaving a gap so that we can insert the elastic. Use the elastic guide to cut a piece of thin elastic to the appropriate length. Then we're going to thread it through the channel that we made earlier, and we're going to sew the two ends of the elastic together. Pull the elastic into the bodice and sew the opening closed. Moving on to the skirt, we're going to put right sides together and sew the skirt front to the skirt back along the side seams. Sew the skirt onto the bodice. Fold the seam allowance towards the skirt, then we're going to sew along the bottom edge to create a channel to insert the elastic, leaving a space open. Next, we're going to insert some elastic into the channel using the same method that we used for the neckline. Hem the bottom of the dress, and I took a little bit of black satin ribbon, made a bow, and we're going to sew it to the center of the bodice. To make the sash for her dress, I took some black satin ribbon, heat sealed the ends, and then sewed some lace along the top and bottom. I then sewed some Velcro to the back of the ribbon so that it can be worn around the waist. To keep the ribbon from sliding down, I hand sewed a couple stitches tacking it into place periodically around the front of the dress and at the sides. For Rhea's hair clip, I reused the one that I made for my original Rhea costume. This was done by cutting a flower shape out of some blue fabric, a flower shape out of some white fabric, whoop stitching them together along the edges, adding a gradient with some paint, sewing a bead in the middle, and finally attaching a hair clip to the back. And with that, Rhea is done! For more cosplay tutorial videos, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching!